So I've opened up this product, didn't really like it. I've also opened up this one, they didn't really care for it either. But now, oh, can you guys see me? I'm back here. So in here I have probably the most investable product of the year. All right, so let's take a look here. I got a bunch of these boxes because it was just honestly such a great deal. So here it is. We have the Sky and Sea Crown Zenith Collection Box. Now let's talk about what makes this such a great deal. So we actually have 14 Crown Zenith booster packs. Uh, that's for $40. $40 for 14 packs. It's like $2.80 a pack. I'm actually gonna jump on my desk open this up and I'm gonna keep telling you guys why this is such a great deal. All right, so here's a closer look at our collection box. And as you guys can see, this thing barely fits in my desk. Now, here's the thing. I'm gonna say this right away. And yeah, look at this, this box is huge. I'm gonna say this right away, guys. And most of you are gonna fight me in the comments. Go ahead, I welcome it. Fight back! Fight back! Fight back! Fight back! But to me, this is a product that I would say nine out of 10 times, I'd probably open it um, just to try and get a hit. I know most people say like, you know, sealed product is better, especially this box. So I bought this $40 MSRP and it's already going for $80 on TCG player. So it's already doubled in price. So I'm going to tell you guys my thoughts on the matter, but first let me, let me just take all of this out. I'll give you guys this view real quick of the box. So yeah, we have seven packs on that side. Here is our Rayquaza V promo, the Rayquaza Hollow prom promo as well, Kyogre and Kyogre V. All right, so I just took everything out of that box because it did not fit in my desk. So pretty much here is the oversized card. And like I said, the four promos, there's a code card for you guys as well. So yeah, these are really cool. I know I got one of these that had a swirl on them. So, you know, these could sometimes have that swirl. Make sure to look out for that. And then we have our 14 packs here. So yeah, these Crown Zenith packs, I think they're going uh, $5 each and we're getting these at $2.80. But why I say it's worth opening this product is just because of how great the pull rates in Crown Zenith are. So I would, I'm a gambler, you know, the Pokemon, pack openings, it's, it's a gamble. That's honestly what it is. Uh, so I'm low key a gambler, guys. So yeah, I just like trying to get that hit, especially when it's such a good deal like this. I paid 40 bucks for just one box. Uh, you know, you could get lucky and get one of those gold cards. We got the Swablu. And another thing I do want to say about it we got an Entei Hollow, and why I welcome you guys to fight me in the comments is because how good the pull rates in Crown Zenith are. That's what's honestly uh, making me open this product mostly because, yeah, it's good to keep it sealed. Of course, it's already gained $40 value. If you guys want to, you know, just buy the product and flip it real quick, you're more than welcome to do that. Uh, but yeah, just me personally, I just, you know, like taking that little risk, that gamble. Um, I have a feeling, I don't want to say it's instant profit with these to where I'll get cards worth more than $40, but I do think the chances of doing that is a lot higher than normal. So we got a Taurus. So let's see, let's see if we could actually get $40 worth of hits in this collection box. But honestly, one of the best products of the year. Um, I mean, it's got four promos as well. You know, those V cards are probably like a buck each. Let me just go through this one kind of quick. It's a black code. So, so far I managed to get one uh, Galarian art card. We got the Swab Blue. And let's see if we could get one of the bigger hits, maybe one of the three legendary dogs, which have such a sick artwork. Honestly, I think those cards are probably the best uh, legendary dog uh, artworks out there. We got each of them like in their own element. We got the Entei with the volcano in the background. That card is just sick. I honestly don't know how it's just worth like 20 bucks still. I would say that's the card to keep your eye on if you wanna, let's go. We got Zera Aura VMAX. Beautiful VMAX card. See if it's a double. Oh, okay, we got the Lightning Energy. 
Uh, this is like the textured one. It's got the lightning bolts in the background along with the Pokeballs as you can see there. So pretty nice. But yeah, as I was saying guys, I would probably consider all three of them honestly. The Suicune with the blizzard in the background. Uh, also the Raikou where he's just like running fast as hell so everything looks blurred in the background. So yeah, I would definitely consider picking up those three singles because they're honestly they're still fairly cheap considering the artwork and the Pokemon you know those are very popular Pokemon they're from Johto and Johto is just I mean that's honestly one of my favorite generations I mean it's the second generation we got a Comfey Galarian Art and a Knitted Snorlax all right so that's five packs four hits three hits that's not too bad Let's see, let's see if we can make our money back. I'm gonna put uh, my money, what is it? My mo the money in my mouth? I almost said the money in my mouth. But yeah, you guys know what I mean. All right, let's see, we got an Ultra Ball, Crushing Hammer, Luxio, Scyther, Pokeball, Young Goose. Let's see if we got a hit. Feel like I peaked and yep, we got a Roxanne, Full Art. Can it be a double? and a Luxray. So not too bad on the hits. That's what I love about Crown Zenith. Uh, I'm not sure if it has the best pull rates in the Sword and Shield era. I mean, definitely 100% better than Evolving Skies. That's just like a mess. Opening up like Evolving Skies, kind of like throwing your money away. I would say just buy the single. I think with all the Evolving Skies that I've opened, I've more than, you know, spent more than what, uh, uh, what is it? Moonbrion is worth. Because yeah, I've opened up a lot of Balmy Skies. Never really got too lucky. Oh, we got the fire one now. I wonder how much these goes for. I haven't really looked at these. I would say probably like three bucks or so. But yeah, that was seven packs down. Decent hits. Let's see if we could maybe get one of those gold cards. That would be awesome. And I think those gold cards as well, they're a bit on the cheaper end right now. They did have uh, th that price increase, but they all started settling down. I mean, it was all like the Sword and Shield era cards that had that crazy uh, spike with all the alternate arts and all of that. But that could also be uh, market manipulation. So you guys gotta be careful of that. Cause you know, me being, I'm like what a collector, like hard collector, I would say like two years now. You know, when I started seeing these alternate or it's going up in price like I kind of freaked out I'm like oh crap I gotta start buying some you know they're going up but uh, yeah it's just it could be market manipulation uh, sometimes so just be very careful because I kind of regret buying some of the singles that I bought uh, I bought a lot from Evolving Skies, Chilling Rain, Lost Origin I bought a few and uh, they just ended up going back down in price so just be <laughs> very care careful with that Cause I just let, I'm just like, oh, they're going up. They're going to continue to go up. But no, that's not how it works. They hit a ceiling, meaning like the max point in price. And then it just starts going down. And yeah, just be very careful. Like and rock. Yeah, just do more research on, you know, all this stuff. Ask your friends. Uh, I probably could have saved myself some money or buying singles for a lot more if I would have just talked to some friends because uh, yeah or people are at car shops if you go to a car shop you learn a lot guys like honestly anytime I step into my local game store um, you just have a conversation with anyone you just learn so much because yeah a lot of these people they they know a lot about the hobby the collector standpoint they've been collecting probably like 10 plus years so yeah just uh you know, make sure you go interact with people and have those conversations. We got the Kyogre Hollow. I was curious actually if it's the same. Yeah, it's the same as the promo card, but the promo card uh, has this bubbly hollow. So it's pretty much going to be more exclusive. And I actually did want to talk about this Rayquaza as well. So I've been seeing a lot of Rayquaza cards with like just this smaller like hollow box where they're like pr priced pretty well. I've seen like a shiny one like this as well. So I could definitely see that being a promo that could go up in price in the future. So, you know, make sure you sleep that up and maybe put it in the top loader. 
right, let's see what we got. We got like four packs left. And uh, let's see, hopefully we can get a big hit. I wanna get one of those Galarian Gallery. It was the Galarian Gallery in this subset. This was a special set. It was the last one from the Sword and Shield era. And it's Caesar. Alright, three packs. I think Caesar is pretty cool, but I don't know why I just like Scyther a lot more. I think he looks cooler. Like, you know, he's got Scythes. Uh, Scyther? Oh, what's it called? He's got a Scyther as he has. Uh, a Scythe, right? That's what it's called, the Scythe. Yeah, he's got scythe arms, and uh, yeah, I think it's a lot cooler. I don't know why that doesn't sound right though. A scythe. A scythe. I think it's a scythe. Ooh, we got a ditto disguised as a normal. There's our imposter. Those beady little eyes. Must be Canadian. <laughs> I like how in South Park they just <clears throat> did that to the Canadians. They just. Made them all have uh, beady eyes, beady little eyes. Like, uh, what was those? Ter Terrence and Philip? Yeah, there was like those, um, were they actors? I forgot, I haven't watched South Park in so long. But yeah, it's pretty funny. Ooh, pulled like four of them. Shanks, Luxray. Man, my luck has ran out. But, uh, yeah, let's see, I mean, Best hit I think I got so far was the Zera Aura V Max, so it's not too bad. I think it's probably like six, seven bucks. Oh yeah, guys, like I mentioned, you know, let me know what you guys think in the comments about that actually, because uh, you know most people, if you're, I mean, it's a very nice looking box as well. It's got Rayquaza and Kyogre in the front, so it's a very cool collection box. So I could definitely see that just going up more and more in the future. You know, you're starting to see less Sword and Shield era products out there. So, you know, Scar City, we got, we got, we got another one. We got another Zera Aura VMAX. I mean, I'm not complaining, but wow. Okay, I just realized the lightning on this card. That's pretty sick. All right, so we got another Zera Aura and Double. But anyway, guys, that is it for today. Let me know what you think. Is this the best uh, investment product of the year? Should you keep it sealed or should you open it up? Should you gamble like I just did? But anyway guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a thumbs up and I'll see you guys on the next one.